At the end of the last video on this particular topic, I'd reached this stage and was musing about how I would um, add some more lighting and effects to finish off the render. This is just the general lighting that I was looking for that's been influenced by the HDRI backdrop. So what I want is something, some more yellow light in this uh, to darken the sky and to make it look like these lights are lit. That was essentially the conclusion to come to anyway. So to achieve that effect, Yes, I've set this scene up now, and uh, I've got the, the orange ones here are my light sources that I'd set up in the last scene, but I've modified the material on those so they're a slightly yellowy, greeny colour. So that's tinting the light that's lighting them. So there's an interaction there, like a, a gel light. But it's uh, it's, uh, it's set so it's uh, still uh, as it was before on obscure light, so it's a combination of the two. So we're getting the, the direct lighting in, and it's just been modified slightly by the tint of the diffuse channel there. Then I use the mesh selection tool here to pick out the the bulbs in these light fittings and the inner reflector, which is a separate model, which was handy. And I gave them their own family and modified the material of those so that they were just diffuse white. And then, which might seem like a strange thing to do, to light them, I changed the name to background. So although the light bulbs and the inner reflectors are called background, which as I hope you realise now, means they'll be lit by the light from inside HDRI image. Then finally, I've got four spotlights here that I positioned just underneath the where the lights are, and these spotlights, I've squashed them vertically so they spread out more, and if I edit that, you can see that I've used edge softness, so you can't see any harsh transition where they spread out. I've turned the fall off to none, got rid of the specular, set the diffuse at 5, and made that a slightly greeny colour, a green, greeny yellowy colour as well. So that is sort of sympathetic with the, the tinting that's going on with this lighting. And the render time went up as a result of this to about 1 hour 40, but essentially, apart from just reducing the intensity of the HDRI, which bear in mind is not applied to the light source, so it's not affecting the light output here, just uh, it just makes it a darker as a background image means that this uh, this was was what I'd concluded what I wanted for the final render so I'll just show you that now I don't have to wait for it this time because I'd already done it the reason I didn't show you the setting up was partly it's a bit of a tedious process and it's quite straightforward the difficult bit is setting up the um, the internal lighting which I showed you in some detail and two I accidentally deleted the file that I started from I overwrote it with this one which I didn't intend to do but I hit the wrong button so there you go that's what I consider to be the final render and and uh, sort of the end of this short series of tutorials so I hope you found that interesting and we'll have a shot at doing that yourself